Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Habib Ali and I am an ICT tutor by profession. Welcome back to another lesson. So in today's lesson we are going to be learning about how to use the count function, how to use the count a function and how to use the count blank function. Okay, so for today's lesson, I'm using a different workbook. It's called Student's Exam, and it's simply displaying some data, just some made-up data about the results of the examination of the students. Now, you can find a link uh, for this file in the description box down below. So please click the link. It will take you to my website and you can download a copy of this exact same file so you can have a go um, and work along with myself. Let's have a look at the question of the day. So today's question is asking us to use a different functions to calculate the following. Count the total number of candidates from column B. Count how many candidates sat the exam and count how many candidates didn't sit the exam, i.e. who didn't turn up. Okay, so let's have a look at this worksheet, exam results. The first question we are going to tackle is asking us to count the total number of candidates and as per the question it's asking us to use the data in column B. Now in reality you could use column C as well the last name of the candidates it doesn't really matter it will give you the exact same results. Now the function we are going to be using to tackle this question is equals count A function simply because if we don't use equals count a and we leave the a out it will give us a zero um, result simply because count a will count textual data in the range but equals count will only count numerical data now let's go ahead and make a start and you will understand it even better so equals count a don't leave that a out please because we are counting words in this range or names which is text then we open the bracket and we highlight the range as such all the way from the beginning to the end and we close the brackets and press enter and this gives us 15 15 as a total number of candidates that were initially registered to sit the exam now the second question is asking us to count the number of candidates who actually sat the exam. Now the best range or the best column to use to tackle this question would be column D, the results range. Because this is how we can count how many students got results. You can see their marks are, these numbers are representing what mark they got out of 100. So if we use this range, we can count how many students actually sat, sat the exam that turned up and got some results. So this time we are going to use the count on its own so equals count function simply because equals count will only count numerical data and because in this range we only have numerical data this is the best function to use but please do remember the equals count function will not count any of the blank cells that's important this is the reason we are using equals count function for this particular question so equals count don't forget don't put the air in that's important um, as a matter of fact um, just for your knowledge even if you did put the A in in this example, it Excel will also give you the answer because count A function is used to count text and numbers in a range. So it doesn't really matter. But for today's 
example and today's lesson because I'm demonstrating three different functions I'm going to use each function for each one of these answers so because I've already used count a for the first question the total number of candidates I'm not going to use it for this second question so equals count open bracket we highlight the range we close the bracket we press enter and it gives us 12 candidates that turned up and sat the exam. Now, finally, the third question is asking us to count the number of candidates who failed to sit the exam, i.e. the learners who didn't turn up and got no marks at all. So if we were counting in using this range again, because this range tells us the candidates who did not turn up and got no marks at all, i.e. the cell for, their, for them. So for example, Caroline here, she's got um, nothing, hence her cell is a blank. So we want to count how many blank cells there are by, by counting the number of blank cells we will know how many students didn't actually turn up so let's have a go the function is equals count blank and then open bracket and then we highlight the range again all the way down close the bracket and simply press enter how many do you think we should get well, we can count it. It's a very small amount of data. There's one, two, three um, blank cells. And also if you do uh, 15 minus 12, it's also three. Let's press enter and let's see what we get. There we are. It's a straightforward answer. So we got three results or three candidates that did not turn up to sit an examination. So this is a good example when you would actually use the count blank function. It is a very useful function. Now you can imagine this being a real situation where hundreds of students were sitting an examination and you wanted to know how many students didn't turn up, you could use the count blank function to work this out. I also want to bring something to your attention. When you are counting blank cells in a range, please be extra careful and make sure, let's say, even though this is blank, if I clicked inside and let's say by accident, I press the space bar. Now the space bar is actually counted as a character, but an invisible character, a non printable character but excel does detect that there is something in there um, which is a space and now if i press enter this three now should turn to a two let's have a look there we are simply because excel is now counting this cell as well as though something is in there there's a there's there's, there's a space and it's counting it as a numerical value or, or any information it will take it count blank does take any data any data that any cells that is not blank it will not uh, it will count so in this case now we've got this cell that's blank and this cell that is blank and in this cell we have got something whether there's a number in there there's a text in there there's a space in there doesn't really matter so this is why please be extra careful when you have blank cells and make sure there is nothing in there at all so I'm just going to click inside here and just press the delete button on the keyboard and now press enter or you can see straight away I have three um, as my original result so that's just a pointer um, for you to understand and um, take it with you further for your understanding and this concludes um, today's lesson so please do like and share this lesson and subscribe to our channel if you have not done so and i shall see you over in the next lesson and until then please do look after yourself and goodbye for now